What's up guys, Mozza here, back in black shorts on a very casual Sunday. And today we're getting after a massive tree and hedge. Simply can't believe how crazy and wild people allow their hedges and trees to get before doing something about them. Well, spoiler alert, this is my house and I'm that guy. I've been putting off this job for about three months now. Every day when I get home, I back my trailer into the garage and I look at that tree and I nearly cry. I always say next week and well after months of putting it off that week came on a Sunday my day off and I was ready to get stuck in. I guess it's true what they say the plumber always has leaky taps the painter's house never gets painted and if I showed you my back lawn I'd lose all credibility as a professional. When I'm done at the end of my week doing other people's gardens the last thing I want to do is mine but such is life I've had a real back and forth with this tree over the years when we moved in it was bigger than the house and it was inevitably going to take over so I lopped it all the way down back with my chainsaw to a manageable state where I can maintain it but as you can see it's blown up over the years as did the hedge and here we are but it is a smashing tree and I do love the shade it provides to my house and I love how green it is and it's an evergreen meaning it never drops its leaves so it looks banging all year round. The hedge behind the tree also used to be a lot smaller but over the years it's transformed into a splendid hedge that provides privacy from our lovely neighbours so we like to keep it at a good height but it does tend to combine with the tree so it grows a little unevenly but say la vie, that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's no secret of mine that I absolutely hate hedging, especially big hedges or trees. I don't mind doing little hedges for my good regular customers, but big hedges are massive jobs. They not only take ages to do, but there's always a massive clean up after you've done with the hedger, and it always takes longer than you've estimated, always. If someone asked me to do this job and it's not my tree, I would politely decline and send it to one of my friends who also do gardens because I'd rather pick up a new regular fortnightly mowing client, not just a hedging job that will zap all my energy and perhaps will only need doing three or four times a year. I mean, when I first started my business eight years ago, I'd take any jobs, any hedges and I'd never limit what I wanted to do. But after years of doing hedges, I realised it's simply not worth the toll it takes on your body. I've had some weeks doing loads of hedging work and by the end of it my neck is sore, my back is crippled and my shoulders are completely brown bread mate because everything is above your head. You definitely don't need to hit up a CrossFit class at the end of the day and you will see from this video how many times I go up and down that ladder it's not even funny. Hedging completely takes all your energy and if you have a big day of lawns then a few big hedges in the middle you're going to be home late and your dinner's going to be cold, I'll tell you that. I hope you enjoy today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like watching hedging jobs or do you prefer overgrown lawns? What's your flavour? We also recently hit 1,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. I literally only started this channel exactly four weeks ago today. I put out the first video. So I just want to thank each and every one of you for the love. Please continue to like, share the videos and subscribe. I'll be putting more videos out this year and the more subscribers I get, the more content I'll be able to film for you. So please hit that button and keep on keeping on wherever you're watching from around the world. Peace.
Alright guys, and we are done. Another video in the books. Um, these big hedge and tree jobs take absolutely everything out of me. Um, I tend to avoid them like play, uh, especially in peak season. But, you know, since I live here, not much of a choice really. It's got to be done now and again. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to do this one for another six, maybe nine months. But I'm sure that I'll be having nightmares about this tree until I've got to do it again. Um, thanks for all the support. Um, you know how it is. If you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. Alright, thanks and enjoy your weekend.